You know, I feel a special bond with college Democrats. That's probably because I was one and got my start as a college political activist. As some of you may know, my father was a Democratic senator from Indiana. And when he decided to run for president in 1976, I took a semester off from Indiana University to volunteer for his campaign. That campaign was a transforming experience for me. I traveled to Iowa, New Hampshire, and other states, stayed in supporters' homes, and got to know people at the grassroots level, the kind of folks we've always historically fought for. It was incredibly fun, and it was incredibly rewarding. And I was definitely bitten by the political bug. Then one decade later, I ran for office myself and was elected Indiana Secretary of State at the ripe old age of 30. Now, 30 may sound a bit old to some of you in the room, but as I look back on it today, that seems pretty young to me. Then I was elected governor two years later, age 32, the youngest governor in the country. So I know from personal experience that you, are our young voters, bring real passion and fresh ideas and commitment to this process, the kind of commitment and passion we need more of in Washington today. It does my heart good to know that so many of you have been uh, interested in the political process too, and that you've wisely chosen the Democratic Party as your political home. I hope that you find that being involved in the political process is as inspiring as I did. And I hope that many of you will decide to take the ultimate plunge yourself and choose to represent the constituents of your home state someday. The Democratic Party and America need you. One of the reasons I was grateful to have this opportunity to say a few words today is that I believe you are the most important people in our country because it's your future that's at stake. And increasingly, I'm concerned about what that future will be if we don't change both the leaders and the course that we're on. Environmental problems, energy dependency, skyrocketing health care costs, debts and deficits as far as the eye can see, that if we don't change, you're going to have to repay one day with interest, and increasingly to the central banks of foreign governments. It doesn't have to be that way. It's up to all of us to shape our own destiny. If things continue like they are, I'm afraid that my generation may be remembered as just the latest generation, not the greatest generation. And we must do better than that. But now I look at you and your generation. And I know that you're finding new ways to get involved at unprecedented levels to move our country forward, to meet our challenges, to shape a better future. Volunteerism and activism are up through the roof, whether it's for environmental organizations, an anti-war group, or volunteering at a local food bank or a domestic violence shelter. I read recently that the AmeriCorps and Peace Corps have received a, a record number of applications last year. And youth voter turnout in the 2004 elections was way up. One of the biggest misconceptions around today about our young people is that this generation is apathetic. Well, I don't need to tell you in the room here today that nothing could be further from the truth. And you're going about politics and activism differently. You've taken the good old-fashioned concept of grassroots organization and revolutionized it through the concept of net roots. Through online organizational tools like Facebook, you become active and organized both online and on the ground. In fact, I hope that you will Facebook me after the conference and check out my website at www.allamericapack.com. And I hope that you'll sign up to join another group of students at the All America PAC Facebook group. The Democratic Party has a long history of standing up for the priorities that have made America an exceptional nation. It was our party, the Democratic Party, and our policies that lifted this country out of the Great Depression, won two world wars, drew a line in the sand against global communism, landed a man on the moon, and championed civil rights, the GI Bill, Social Security, Medicare, women's rights, and on and on and on. Now that's a record to be proud of. And now the country looks to you, our future leaders, to take this fine record and to build upon it. To carry the torch of democratic and progressive ideals into the future. To take all of the energy and passion and spirit that you're already demonstrating in your communities and channel it into keeping the Democratic Party strong and vibrant, and thereby guaranteeing that America remains an exceptional nation. I want to thank you for that, for your idealism, for your commitment, and to the progress that together we will make to make the American future one of which we can be proud. Keep up the good work.